What's up guys, this is Ropey here for FlyingOrc.com, bringing you another walkthrough. This time we are looking at finding 50 of the Sunset Sarsaparilla caps. They are specific caps, they have stars on them. And this is for a challenge and I believe an achievement that will unlock upon completion. For that you need to go to the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, which is found here, and speak to Festus the Machine. So once you speak to him, he has a lot to say. Uh, you ask him about the Star Cups, and he will explain the whole thing. Howdy, partner! Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Ring the local stool and listen to old Festus jaw while. If you and old Festus are old pals, say a command now. Otherwise, say, pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Or, if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, Say goodbye. New in town, partner? Well, let old Festus give you the lay of the land. If you're here to redeem your sunset sarsaparilla stars, dump them into the slot in the barrel below and I'll count them up. If you don't know what sunset sarsaparilla stars are and think old Festus is just shooting his mouth off, say star info. And you're here to challenge old Festus to a game of lucky horseshoes, say, I feel lucky. Lastly, if you're here about the health advisory that aired on Channel 6 recently, say, silly old advisory. Ah, oh, new to the hunt, are you? Well, listen carefully, as old Festus don't like to repeat himself. Select sunset sarsaparilla bottles will have special caps with blue stars on them. These caps are known as sunset sarsaparilla stars. Why are these stars there, and what do they mean? <laughs> Nobody knows, except maybe old Festus. <laughs> Rustle up enough of them and you can win a prize. So get out there and start drinking sunset sarsaparilla. Now, I can't guarantee that there won't be spoilers in this video for locations and stuff, but um, hopefully we can get through this with a minimal amount of location spoilers. Uh, so, at the end of this video, if you haven't collected enough caps or if you have difficulty with some of these, there are other options, and I will discuss those at the end of the video before we turn in for the, uh, for the end of the challenge. But um, for now, you need to go to the 188 trade post, or trading post. And uh, that's where we'll find our first cap. Let's get started. So nice and easy, there we go. The next two can be found in the Bitter Springs Recreation Area offices. Uh, to do that, you just go to Bitter Springs and then the offices are, uh, Bitter Springs Recreation Area and the offices are behind us then. And there are two caps in there. in some of these rooms of course uh, specifically here so make sure you take them out and then there's the first cap Sorry for that there's the first cap and the second cap is just there on the left so this next one is in the gibson scrapyard this one can be a bit difficult to find unless you're looking for it specifically because it's kind of buried in the back of a shelf um, if you are familiar with Gibson Scrapyard, you can actually go through the shutters as well to get in, and uh, it would actually be quicker. I don't know why I take the long way here, but... Uh, so, just go through the door, past the dogs, and make your way into this room. And the very back corner of the shelf is the bulk cap. Now, the next two are in Good Springs. Now uh, this should be a familiar area, you should know this area because this is the first place you are in the game. Uh, so once you are here there are two caps uh, in two different houses, so I will make a run through quickly and bring you to both of those locations. The caps are quite easy to find, they're usually just sitting on kitchen counters and stuff. Uh, there are a few caps that are more dangerous than others to receive, but it's okay. Uh, generally this walkthrough will take you to the easiest caps to get, a lot of shacks and uh, most of the locations 
generally would have more than one anyway, so it, this should be a pretty pretty easy walkthrough. However, the walkthrough itself will be kind of long because I have an extra method to earn caps, the star caps specifically. Uh, I have an extra method at the end of the video, and then I also have the conclusion and where you can find the real prize for finishing this. The real prize is pretty cool. It consists of about 1,500 bottle caps and uh, a gun called the Pew Pew, which is a pretty cool, uh, unique laser. If you're collecting all the unique weapons, that's one of the ones that you'll have to get, and the only way to get it is to complete this. And uh, there's also a holotape and some stuff about uh, some of the characters. Now, one of the things that didn't happen to me is that there's a character who will confront you sometimes when you pick up a bottle cap. It's a random encounter, and he will... Uh, he will confront you. This is the old nuclear test site. Now there are a lot of ghouls here, but uh, it's it's pretty straightforward. The only thing you might need is some radex or right away if you have trouble with radiation. Um, yes, but this guy who confronts you, he may actually have a few bottle caps on him, so you can rob them from him after he has confronted you. He he just wants to tell you that he is a collector himself, and he would like. I, I think he wants your caps or something. I'm not sure. I only read about it. It never actually happened to me. So I couldn't obviously get a video of it, but um, hopefully then, if you guys encounter it, then you can get a few caps a little bit earlier. So like I said, there are a few ghouls. So make your way into the old nuclear test site shack, and uh, there should be just one sitting there, right here. Now the next one's in Jacobstown. If you have tried to collect the snow globes, there's a snow globe in Jacobstown as well. Uh, I've done a video on it, I'm about to publish it as well, alongside this video, uh, so if you are trying to collect the snow globes, there's a video guide up for that as well. Um, the snow globe is in a different building to the bottle cap though, so instead of heading to the main building, you just take a right here and head down through these little, I don't know, huts, I guess they'll be called. Um, and just make your way down to this one here, straight ahead. And then there's a bottle cap sitting on the inside there. Very straightforward, very easy. So, there's two here in Bonnie Springs. Now, this place can be kind of difficult. The first time I came here, I found a Viper Gang with two leaders, which I found, at that time, quite difficult to take out. Um, if you're a stronger level, this might be easier. Uh, every time I came back here afterwards, there were there was, at one point, a Deathclaw, and at other points, Cazadors floating around, which can be a bit of a pain to take out. But there are two bottle caps here, right here in this chest, or this crate, sorry. There you go, there's two. So it is worth coming down. Now this is Camp Golf, this is an NCR camp I believe. Um, this is pretty straightforward if you have no conflict with the NCR, otherwise you may need to do some serious fighting here because there's quite a lot of them. But there are three caps here to collect, so it is well worth coming here. So. Just make your way down to this building you see straight ahead of you. Generally, as a rule, I will start all the videos from the waypoint location. So basically, if you fast travel to the location and uh, where, where you're standing when you arrive in a location, that's where the video will begin. So if you're having trouble finding where the video begins, just fast travel to that specific location and it will uh, it'll make your life a lot easier. So hopefully I'm not blasting through this, hopefully this is easy to follow. Um, feel free to rewind and pause the video as needed. Uh, to make things more convenient, I have taken away all the loading screens just to make the video a bit shorter. So um, you'll probably need to pause this a good bit, and for that I apologize, but I thought maybe putting up an hour long video would be a bit extreme. So there's the first cap, and the second cap is here. And then the third cap is just over here. So it's extremely easy. Three caps for very minimal effort. So, these next caps are at the cap counterfeiting shack. This is an easy one to miss because it's behind a boulder, but there are three uh, star caps here, so it is well worth making the trip. Um, there's no real enemies here. Sometimes you'll get attacked by wildlife, but uh, it's very rare. So if you, if you do, I apologize, but just be prepared that there may be something. I'll switch on my light here. Um, so just make a left, go through this door here. I don't know why I did a spin there. Uh, just make your way down the stairs. And there are three on the table. There's also some counterfeit caps. They don't count for real caps, but if you're a collector or a hoarder of the game, this might be interesting. They're on the table behind. So there you go, that's one, two, and three. Now, 
we are at Hunter's Farm. There are two caps to collect here, which is quite nice. Uh, so far, this has all been pretty easy. Hopefully, didn't have a run in at the NCR camp, but uh, beyond that, hopefully, this has been pretty easy. I tried to make all the locations as easy as possible, so it is quite convenient to get them. And um, I think the hardest part is just walking to these locations if you don't have them already on your map. That was a big time time killer. So this next one is in. Nipton. So if you just go to Nipton, uh, you should see what I see ahead of me, uh, which is just a big burning mound. Um, once you do, we are going to walk up to basically an ambush site that the Viper Gang has. Now, there are only two members of the Viper Gang there, and I don't think I even confront them. I think my followers kill them, so it is quite easy to take them out. But um, this one also can be a bit difficult to find because the cap is sort of just lying on the ground. So it is uh, easy to miss. Just make your way through and up, and once we get to the truck, you could be attacked at that point or afterwards. I don't think I really got bothered by them, so I can just go straight to the cap and pick it up, uh, which is nice. So just make your way up. It can be a bit of a hike, but I didn't want to fast forward it. I thought I'd make it easier for people. So there's the cap. Um, this next one is at the Nellis Hangars at the Air Force Base. Now this can be quite tricky to get to, so if you take the road on the left up towards the hangars and then just stick very close to the mountains, uh, or the large rocks, you should be able to make it down as far as the gate. Once you've made it to the gate or the fence, it is uh, very much so easier because the mortar fire stops. So just talk your way in, and then once you have, make your way down to the, to the hangars, the mess hall specifically. So just head straight in, and then on one of the tables is a cap, and then on the other side of the same table is another cap. I'll just throw the bottle out of the way so we can see. There's the first cap, and then just spin around to the other side, and you can already see the other cap there. there you go. So this one is on the scavenger platform, which is in the middle of the water here. Um, it's quite easy to get to. Sometimes there are some enemies here, but generally it's it's pretty safe to just come up here so just make your way across and down to the back and there you go there it is on the shelf now if you were to be on the platform and to go in the other direction and go into the water uh, you can make your way down to the sunset sarsaparilla truck which has sunk to the bottom here um, I use the rebreather that the boomers from the Air Force base actually will give you during a mission, and that makes this considerably easier, but it is possible to do this without the rebreather. So just make your way down to the truck, and you will see there are two caps here. Uh, it is a little bit tricky because all the stuff is floating around, so it makes it a little bit more difficult to spot them, and they're always perpetually moving. So they're just. Uh, here's the first one. And the second one is here. There. And there you go. So, hopefully that helps. Alright, the next one is at Gene's Skydiving. This is a very easy cap to get. There are no enemies here or anything. So just make your way over to the shack. It's very simple. It's a small walk up the road from uh, Good Springs. So just make your way inside and you will find the cap just here at the back. There you go. So the next one as it is at the Highway 95 Vipers encampment. Now there are quite a few Vipers here, but this is this really should be quite easy to do. Um, even if you're at a lower level, there's only a few. So if you just make your way down here and kill them. As you were to, if you were to spawn in, that's where you would come in. And then just make your way down to the mattresses. And it's down here at the back. Got a problem. Could so this is specifically a quest you'll get at Jacobstown. Um, this guy will come up and ask you about some people from the NCR that have been harassing him. 
and through a series of speech series. checks you can actually ask him what would you want help You're basically human. so you can go up and actually talk to these people so I actually got that video while I was trying to record a different video for about the snow globes so I apologize for the cut there, but um, if you make your way outside the town and just up the road, you'll see that they are standing there. There's a, a specific fellow named Norton. When you speak to him, you can convince him to go, you can kill him, you can basically do whatever you want. But the idea is that you pickpocket him or loot him for the cap. He has a cap in his pocket. So there he is. Just speak to him, just pass the speech Our jack or take care of it however you want. And, uh, My man and I once he turns around, just pickpocket him, and there it is. So this next one is at the Aerotech office park. It's quite easy to get, you just have to make your way in and go into the Aerotech suite number 300. It's very straightforward, it's just sitting on a counter in the back. So, just make your way in. Basically, just keep going straight until you reach that building slightly to your right. Then just swing right and head into the hallway, swing right again and go to the last room. And there it is on the counter. So this next two are at the Allied Technologies office. Um, it's quite easy to get to and quite easy to deal with. There are a couple of enemies inside, but overall the experience is very easy going. So just make your way in. There should be some enemies waiting for you on the inside. So just push back with them and then make your way through. make your way around and they are both on the desk right in front of you all right so the next one is at black mountain this is a place that you have to come anyway at some point and you have to deal with someone named tabitha but for the moment we are just going to make our way up and across uh, it's a bit of a lengthy walk and there are some enemies to deal with this is more of um if you're a higher level, this is probably going to be easier for you, but overall it should be fine. There's not too many to deal with, so you can pretty much just hide and shoot if you want to do it that way. Just make your way all the way up. We're going to go into the storage room, and then it's just sitting there waiting for us. should just be on a shelf here on the left. Alright, so I didn't record the map, so I'm just going to just display a map here and show you how to get here. This is Blue Paradise Vacation Rentals. Uh, there are two caps here. It's just down here. There you go. Um, so just make your way down to the building ahead of you. There can be enemies in here, but usually it's pretty okay. So it's hard to find because they're just floating on the bottom here, but that is the first one. So if you make your way back out, we'll just pick up the second one quickly as well. So just swing right and head down to the back of this building and in. Again, the rebreather I mentioned earlier would make this incredibly easy, but you don't actually need it. You can uh, go up for air in the air pockets. And so the other cap is here on the counter. All right, so the next one here is in Boulder City. Uh, incredibly easy one to get. Again, no real enemies or violence at all necessary. Just make your way there. And then just make your way across to the bar.
And there it is on the table. So this next one is at Bradley's shack. Uh, this is very easy to find. And very easy building to get to as well. It's just down at the bottom of the map. Very easy. So if there's anything I can do in these videos to make them better in general for you or a better user experience, please let me know in the comments below. I want to make these videos as good as possible, obviously. Thank you guys. Okay, so there it is just there in the corner. The next place is California Sunset Drive-In. There are two here, and it's, again, a very easy place to get them. I'm not sure that there were any enemies here at all. So just make your way down to the drive-in. Just swing around. They're down here at the back. There's one. And a disappearing bottle. And there's the other one. The next two are in Colville Bay. And um, I collected a lot of the excess caps here just to make this easier for you. But there will be a lot of caps sitting around the other star caps that we need. But the basic normal bog standard bottle caps, I just picked those up before recording this just to make it easier to spot them because it was very difficult to get it on video that they were there. So just make your way down. There's a store down at the back. And there will be two caps waiting for us. There's one. And there's the other one. Now this is a pretty difficult section at first if you haven't been here before, but you will have to come here on a quest at some point. However, there are five caps in here, so it's well worth going into this building. There's a lot of robots inside, but it is possible to sneak around them or to get a card to make your way go through. However, as I said, you do have to come here on a mission at some point. I believe it's for the Brotherhood. So I would suggest that you uh, probably do that mission first. If not, you can still go through. You can still figure it out. It's quite easy to do. So the first cap is just in here on the counter. So just grab it there. There we go. Uh, just grab it. And we will go get the other cap. Just make your way out here. And just through and into the offices down at the back. You may have to hack your way in, but I think you can also pick the lock if you need to. And there's the other cap. It's just sitting on this desk. Now, just make your way up the stairs. The uh, facial recognition will probably try and pick you up, but it should be okay if you've already been through here. If not, just destroy it. It really doesn't matter. Uh, there are a few on the top floor that you'll probably have a more difficult time destroying, but overall, again, it's not really that tough especially if you're a higher level. So just make your way down and into this room. It's a little bit difficult to show you this one because that robot keeps getting in my way. But... Uh, Hello, oh. But there we go. Uh, just... There it is. And then there is... Uh, grab the key card. It might actually help you. And then there's two more just up on the top floor. So just make your way down into the bottom of the hallway to the stairs and just make your way up. Go to the left and through, and the first one is here on the bookcase. There is the first one. And the second one is sitting on a desk, so just make your way back and across. Now head into the offices here, and there it is, just sitting on the desk. Easy peasy. That was five for very little effort. Alright, so this one is in Sloan. Uh, again, kind of easy to get to. Uh, there should be no major difficulty while you're trying to get up there. So just head into the bar. And it's sitting there on a table. If there's anything that you need, a walkthrough or a guide for any specific challenge in any game, please feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to record a challenge guide for you. Uh, the next one is in Field Shack. This is number 46, so we are almost there. Uh, Field Shack is just before you go to the airfield, or the, the base. 
so it is possible that you found this already. But uh, it's a very easy one to get to, and it involves a little bit of fast traveling, and a very short walk, so. Uh, number 47 is in the Fisherman's Pride Shack. Yeah, and this is pretty straightforward to get to. Basically, the 50 that I picked were the easiest 50 that I could, I could get. I recorded a ton of videos, and these were the ones that I narrowed it down to. And uh, number 48 is in Harper's Shack, which is down... It's just a little bit right of Good Springs. I know I kind of overdo it with these maps, but it's uh, easier for people, I, I think, anyway, personally to see every possible location around it just it makes the video a bit longer but I think overall it, it it helps people find the location a bit better so it's just here on the table number 49 is at the wrecked highwayman which is just a car that crashed into this area and sitting in the trunk of the car is a uh, bottle cup which is probably bad for them whoever crashed the car but it's really good for us and that is number 49 there you go. And number 50 is at the Grub and Gulp rest stop. It's just sitting on a table. It couldn't be easier to pick up. So, I hope this guide helped you. Uh, there's a little bit more. I'm going to show you another technique to get these caps. That uh, Just in case you missed any, or in, in case you are you sold some by accident and you're missing some, there is actually another way to generate caps. It's not cheating or anything. It's just uh, if you collect the sarsaparilla while you're going, it will enable you to drink as many as you can to collect the caps. So as you can see here, I have 121 caps and about 150 bottles. So if you, I've sped this up now, but if you drink all the bottles, you have a 5% chance with each bottle to get the cap. So what you could do theoretically is just save before you drink a bottle, click open it if you get a normal bottle cap, reload and keep doing that. But that seems very frustrating, a lot more frustrating than collecting. Now after I close and open my monitor again, you can see that I got four caps out of that. So, I mean, four would save you four trips, so realistically that's a good thing. So I'll return to Festus here and just turn in for the prize. And he chips you out of the prize. He basically tells you the story of how, how Sunset became a thing. Now if you listen to the story, and you, you can skip through it if you want, I just left it in for the video, but if you skip the story, it will tell you that there is another prize, potentially, which is in a prize room. Now in that prize room is 1500 bottle caps, uh, spread across some crates, there's roughly an average of about 115 caps in each crate. Um, there's uh, there's quite a few hundred of the deputy badges for Sunset Sarsaparilla 2, they're basically worthless, but it's a cool little thing if you're a collector in the game, that's, uh, that's something you might want to get. Um, there's also a few things, but there's the body of Alan Marks, who, which, who is a, a, a character in the game. And you find out his story through this too. And uh, there's also his gun, which is the pew pew, which is a laser. Uh, sitting next to them is also a holotape, which describes the story as it happened for Alan Marks. And uh, if you speak to one of the machines in the bottling area, he will also tell you some of the story of Alan Marks. So... Um, yeah, so just finish this, and then I will show you how to get to the room where all the stuff is. The stranger said he would happily share his family's recipe for the drink on one condition. The condition being that the stranger would be allowed to sample the bottle whenever he liked to ensure the recipe was being followed to the letter. The man happily agreed, thinking the drink would make him rich, and the stranger promised to meet him by sundown the next day. The next morning, the sheriff stopped by and reported that the stranger's body was found on the side of the town road. He'd been killed by bandits. The man, cursing his luck, closed the saloon early that day, just as the sun began to set. But after he'd locked the doors, he turned around to find an unfamiliar bottle on the bar with a note beneath it. The note was sealed with blue wax in the shape of a star. Opening it, the man found it contained a recipe for a sarsaparilla-flavored drink. Sampling the bottle's contents and finding 
and it's singularly delicious. A man gave silent thanks to his mysterious benefactor, wherever he was. Being an honorable man, the saloon owner paid for the stranger's funeral, thinking it was the least he could do to repay him. The saloon owner went on to become rich selling the new drink, and to this day, some bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla have a blue star under their caps. Some say the saloon owner ordered it done in honor of the stranger. Others say it's the stranger sampling the bottles like he promised. And that's the legend of the star. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you continue enjoying Sunset Sarsaparilla. The Sunset Sarsaparilla Company has received a number of complaints regarding the prize awarded for handing in Sunset Sarsaparilla stars. Therefore, we have seen fit to provide another prize that we feel will placate the most discriminating customer. Just head through the double doors and follow the hallway to your left to the very end. An attendant will be there to present your prize directly. We're at the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company would once again... Alright, so now that he's done, we'll make our way across to the room. And we'll just just go through here and into the back office and up the the ceiling, I suppose. Up the ramp. Let's make a left and go down the long corridor here. In the back is a hole in the ground. You just jump down and then there's the prizes just in that room. So I hope this guide has been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if this helped you at all. Uh, if there's anything else you guys need, please let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can do tutorials on some other games or if there's anything you've got stuck on. Feel free to let me know. So, thank you guys. I hope this was helpful. For more gaming news, reviews, and content, please feel free to check out flyingwork.com. Thanks, guys.